Piece 44, it's the Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, after the Flavian line of Roman emperors. There are two images associated with this piece. Both, both of them are kind of the decrepit view of the Roman Colosseum. The form of this is that it is an amphitheater. Ampi means two and theater. This is image right here of the Temple of Zeus and Athena at Pergamon shows us, I want to remind you, this is their Acropolis with the theater. And this is what that theater looks like carved into the hillside. That was the Greek version of theaters. Roman engineering would allowed the Romans to take that theater and make it freestanding. So it didn't have to be up against a hill and they could, um, make it um, you know double the size essentially so became a freestanding amphitheater it had three levels and each level had a, a decorative architectural style so there was doric or truscan on the bottom ionic and then corinthian this did not have um, any um, impact on kind of weight bearing it was just more for decoration there were 80 entrances, and if you've been in and out of the arena at Spokane, you know that lots of different entrances into the seating area allows a huge crowd to go in and out rather quickly. So that was a design that we use today from the Romans. In those Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian arches were statues. We know that because this is a coin from the Roman era showing the Colosseum with statues in the arches, and people have written about the Colosseum. So it was pretty decorated with Roman gods and goddesses. Another form that uh, comes up with the Colosseum is a barrel vault. A barrel vault, this is a great example of one here. Um, it's just arches, multiple arches kind of put, put together. And you can see here, the arches underneath the seating in the Colosseum are what um, hold the Colosseum up. So it is the structure upon which the Colosseum uh, rests. And not only are there barrel vaults, plain vaults like this, there are also groin vaults. The way I imagine a groin vault is like the intersection of two roads. Uh, the groin vault is an intersection of two barrel vaults. So we use those in architecture. They create a bigger archway and they really let crowds empty, uh, e exit and enter a big structure. And then finally, there is in form this valerium. It's a cover. There was a cover over the Colosseum that was comprised of uh, wooden beams. And since Rome was near the um, the coast, they had sailors come off the ships uh, and from the Roman Navy and work the the valerium and protect the crowd from the, you know any beating down sun. The valerium here at Safeco Field is used like 11% of the games. They move the uh, valerium over. Uh, if the this valerium or roof is at there covering the field at the start of the game, they can't move it off. Kind of interesting. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to move that roof. The function of the Colosseum is that it was the location for games, entertainment that kept the crowds happy in Rome. They were free for citizens of Rome. The emperors are the ones who, you know, funded these games. And they um, provided anybody that wanted to go in with little clay um, shards that would have a seat number on them. And, uh, yeah, so free. Expensive, really. Tax dollars, super expensive. Um, but the emperors hoped that it would provide them with a lot of popularity. We have this notion in history that a lot of Christians were killed at the Colosseum. They were fed to the lions. Probably, more truthfully, there were about a couple thousand Christians killed at the Colosseum. And less often were they killed 
be, just because they were Christian, um, Christians would have been killed, you know, for other reasons than that. Content about the Colosseum, it gets its name from a statue that existed when the Colosseum was built. The, the statue of Colossus of Nero statue, it's called, was in existence. And you can see the height of that statue, super high. Um, it's only like eight feet shorter than the Statue of Liberty. So that, that Colossus of Nero statue is where we get the word Colosseum. And then Flavian from the line of emperors that um, the builder of the Colosseum was from. More content. The Colosseum was divided into seating sections, starting here kind of down at the bottom uh, and would be the um, the emperor of Rome. And he would have actually had like a box seating kind of situation. There would have been... Um, great stone seating for people going uh, up these few flights up and folks who were wealthier who wore white togas or togas lined with purple they they got to be seated for closest to the arena floor and then as we went up the poorer people so people who wore dark clothing kind of the workers of of the Roman Empire, they got seated up higher. And then at the height of the Colosseum, the highest part would be women who sat on wooden bleachers. 50,000 people were held in this Colosseum, whereas the Colosseum in Spokane or the arena in Spokane can hold 12,500 ish. 50,000 is a lot of people. Um, more content is these. Uh, Folks who are fighting animals uh, down here on the floor of the Colosseum, if the fighting got not so interesting, they could just open up a trap door and up would pop another animal from the caverns that were below the floor. And here is a look at those caverns. Uh, they had animals from all over um, the Mediterranean world alligators ostrich hippopotami they were all all here they had a whole routine for a um for the coliseum for the games and sometimes these games could last a hundred days the morning would be filled with simulated animal hunts what it would be like to hunt these animals in their own environment they would simulate that and then after lunch there would be public executions of criminals. And then after that, gladiator battles. Gladiators were supported by their owners who enrolled the gladiators in schools and then, you know, sought um, or, or hoped that their gladiators would do well in the, in the battles. Gladiators are not people that you would want to have get killed at the Colosseum because these people had invested a fair amount of money into their training. Uh, at the end of the Roman Empire, it's um, guessed that there were about a million animals and 400,000 people killed at the Colosseum. And then context. The uh, emperor, the Flavian emperor here, Vespasian, who and here's a bust of him, who built the Colosseum, was able to get funding for the Colosseum and slaves from the Colosseum by conquering the area here known as Judea. It would have been the Jews who were um, kicked out of Judea at 70 AD. That's where the workers came from to build the Colosseum here at Rome. All right, that's the Roman Colosseum.